Hey folks, how are we doing? It's been, well, it's been quite a while since I've actually done a sort of a, an update vid, you know, just a general vid. Um, I've had a cold, a real bugger of a cold for the past uh, over two weeks. You can probably still hear it in my voice now. <coughs> still on my chest at the minute. Uh, but I'm basically over that now. Um, so I haven't felt the greatest. Um, but uh, what are we doing at the minute? We are busy rolling well i'm rolling richard is drilling you'll see him coming up um alongside me shortly we're on uh winter beans at the minute um we've done or oh, what we've we done 100 acres of wheat so far uh, and we're just dropping into some beans get the beans in um and uh yeah just cracking on because it's you know it's, it's blooming dry hence you know <laughs> We're obviously drilling this at roughly about four or five inches. <clears throat> and you can see I'm not far behind the drill and it's not picking up at all. So that just tells you how dry it is like, you know, it does coming off the drill. Um, yeah, we've had very little in the way of rain. Um, so, you know, it is what it is, but you know, just got to get on. It will rain at some point, hopefully. So, um, yeah, got the cousins, eight meter rolls on. <coughs> I'm on the, actually on the big T7 today. I have been on the little 6020, been rolling with that. Um, but uh, we put that back on edge car a couple of days ago and did a bit of edge car. So we left that on and this was, uh, the T7 wasn't doing anything. So we took these on the rolls. So um, we've had a delivery from Ceres Machinery, a big bag handler. Now, Ceres Machinery are a UK manufacturing um, operation. They design and build um, basically a full range of um, sort of you know loader attachments, i.e. big bag handlers, um, and you can see it's you know, blooming well, well built. You know, nice little touches on it. Like we've also bought a new general purpose bucket because our one's getting thin, and. Um, <coughs> Yeah, it's, I mean, you know, a bucket's a bucket and a bag and there's a bag handler, but, uh, you know, these tools, um, and they, they do offer, you know, stuff like mould flowers, grass and subsoilers, and lots of other bits and bobs. And it's all extremely well built for a very competitive price. Definitely worth having a look at. And, <clears throat> you know, I think uh, we'll be hearing a lot more from Sarah's Machinery in the future. They are developing new machines all the time and you know if anything the if these bits of kit are anything to go by it'll be very very well made very well made you know it's nice to see full seam welds around stuff rather than um you know everything is seam welded rather than <coughs> just doing you know two inch beads on it it's all seamed which is nice to see very nice to see. Should last a long, long, long old time. Hard and steel edge on it with holes for teeth if you want. We don't want, obviously. Um, yeah, nice and deep. Do us a trick. So, um, yeah, I mean, I really, I sort of missed a trick because um, one of our local country shows, uh, Martin was there with a load of his gear and um, I should have done a little review of the mole plough because their mole plough is, um, Again, got a lot of because he's a farmer, you know, he's you know, experienced using a lot of the kit and he knows what works and what don't work. And again, like I say, all this kit has got nice little touches on it. So it's actually a lovely Saturday morning, rain overnight, a lot of rain the other day, We're probably about uh, an inch worth of rain at the minute. Um, and I haven't done anything with a TW for a couple of weeks, I shouldn't think. Um, but, uh, gonna, <clears throat> well, let's get it out and then I'll show you, that'll be easiest. Get a bit of daylight in there. So I don't think I've updated you for a while on the TW. Well, um, 
as you can see, all four bolt holes um, haven't got bolts in now. Although this one, these bottom three, that one, that one, that one, um, all managed to cut the bolts down, managed to wind them out. This bastard here, <coughs> the bolt had uh, bent inside and broke uh, sort of about three quarters of an inch inside the trumpet housing so um it's bloody tight coming out so uh i've been as you can see by all the swarth i've been drilling it drilling it and drilling it and um got to the stage where i'm fairly well i've drilled out um there's about a half inch left on the trumpet housing to drill out and i'm hoping when i drill that out level to where the thread starts in the back end um That'll then allow that stud to come out. So, um, so anyway, we are beyond handheld drills now. I've done a lot of handheld drilling with it. Um, we're going for the mag mag mount, uh, mag mount. Well, it is a mag mount, but the mag drill. And obviously, um, I've had to make a bracket for it, which is here. That bit there. Doesn't look pretty, but it's functional. That's going to bolt onto there, so it's a nice, stable, and more importantly, parallel to the holes. So let's get set up. All right, a bit of lube always makes it go better, doesn't it? No smoother. Pretty much the worst thing that could happen here is I break the um, the bit off in the trumpet housing. Oh, wish me luck. Well, that's gone better than I thought it was going to go. Um, I think I am about there. I got to basically want to get to there. Can you see? Let me have a look. Um, yeah, that's obviously the trumpet housing there, whether it, whether it isn't any thread. And then you get into the housing there, the back end, that's where the thread is. So obviously I want to. <coughs> drill out till I get to the um, thread and I think I am about there all right so I've got two types of extractor um, this one is obviously the best one hopefully this will um, this will work um, all those fails you got the sort of the, yeah, the, the standard extractor I don't like these so much oh, there we can give you a I don't know if we can give you a, a shot of what's going on. I think, yeah, pretty good shot there, isn't it? Let me have a look. Yeah. Well, right, let's see if we can get an extractor in there and see what that does. Oh. So we've got a, obviously a, uh, yeah, we've got a good grip on the extractor, a very good grip. Got two nine mil spanners on it. That's getting, uh, yeah, it's real tight now, again. So I ran out of battery on the camera yesterday, which was Saturday, um, to finish off the video lot. So today is Sunday, as you can see, raining. We've had a thunderstorm already this morning. Shush. Um, so it is, <laughs> it's pretty blooming wet now. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to finish this video off because <clears throat> we're still, well, we're no further forward, um, but we're no worse off either. You see, I've got the, um, it's a bit dark, I know. Got the extractor still in there. Um, and it still hasn't turned but you know i am still confident we're going to get it i may have to do a bit more drilling with the mag drill um 
but I'm still confident I'm gonna, you know, this is the way to go. Because, um, I mean, you know, some of you probably say, oh, I'll just take the wheel off and trumpet as and all that, but it's not as simple as that. Um, these are the adjustable wheels and again, they're not, they're not simple to get off. You know, they're, um, I've never had, to be honest, I've never had one off, but I know they they rely on wedges to hold them in place. So you've got a, a row of five bolts there on the outside, and then you've got <coughs> um, three bolts, bolt heads this side, and three studs this side. So it's again, it's not an easy thing to get the wheel off. Anyway, if you get the wheel off, um, you can't then just pull the trumpet housing off, because, yeah, Look, we've got the cab cab mount in there. So it's a it's a major blooming job if we're gonna go down, you know, if I can't get it, do it this way and I have to, you know, go via wheel off, trumpet hours off, it's a blooming major job. So you can understand why I'm, you know, uh trying to get it this way. And um it's just sort of that one stud, that one bolt, um broken, bent inside the inside the trumpet housing. So that's where we are anyway that'll do for this video we'll continue on another day when it's a bit drier and um i am confident i'm going to get it definitely confident i'm going to get it one way or t'other so anyway i'm getting soaked and i hope you enjoy that video see you on the next one Ta -ta.